Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. And we give double honor to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders at Great Millstone, and to you all, Akim, on the four corners of the planet Earth, fighting, pushing, maintaining. Uh, like I said, what, what more do you need to say about 2020 that hasn't been said already, man? I keep saying it every video because it, it, it keeps showing itself to be uh, a beautiful year for the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's jump right into this lesson. Uh, this is going to be called Innumerable Angels Watching Esau or Innumerable Angels Caught Watching Esau. One of the two, but it have, it'll have Innumerable Angels in it. Uh, because I seen this video and I was like, ah, oh, man, I got to do a, I got to do a lesson on this because this is a, 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 a real faith booster, man. All right. We need these faith boosters as much as possible coming to these times, man, to know that, look, the angels got us, man. Y'all about to y'all shot is going to take care of his elect, man. He's going to send his angels and they're going to, um, they're going to collect the elect from the four corners of the planet earth. <laughs> hey, they're going to collect the elect. There we go. Hey, put that on the shirt. Collect the elect. Um, but let's go ahead and start, uh, play this video and I'm going to play the large amount of it. I might stop here and there and uh, bring out some precepts, but I'm going to try to get a large amount of this video in. Enjoy, Akim. Enjoy. And thank you for joining us once again at Sound, Mind, and Body. In today's video, we'll be analyzing several videos taken by NASA that could prove they were constantly monitoring UFOs in space during the STS missions. But the, the, the UFOs are monitoring them, all right? They ain't monitoring the UFOs, but the UFOs are monitoring them. And they're not UFOs, they're IFOs. Because we've identified them as the angels of the Lord, man. All right? In the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, including making a reference to Star Trek after seeing these objects. But more on that later. Let's get started with the first video. This first piece of evidence was filmed during the STS-75 mission, which was a United States NASA space shuttle mission that launched on February 22nd in 1996 and was the 19th mission of the Columbia Orbiter. In the video, you'll see dozens of bizarre flashing objects as they hover above Earth as NASA tries to explain them away. Take a look. The clip starts off with a black and white shot of the Earth. Back then, NASA used special infrared cameras, which made it much easier to find objects like the ones you're about to see. As the Earth slowly rotates in all her glory, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Until a few moments later, when multiple flashing objects suddenly appear from the bottom of the screen. There's, there's one, there's two, there's three. Thousands. I say hundreds, this say hundreds, but imagine the ones that aren't being seen. Look at that, man. Call her lawyer, me out, she me out, shout, man. Ain't nobody worried about no Black Friday, man. Damn. The objects seem to vary in size. From very tiny objects to much larger ones. They soon engulf the screen as NASA has no choice but to comment on them. First mission control from Houston chimes in by saying the objects look like a bed of diamonds due to moonlight sparkling off of the oceans on Earth. Then going on to ask if the video was real or if they It says they commented. They finna show you the clip. But it says they look like a bed of diamonds, man. They sparkling, like, illuminating up there, man. And, and, and the precepts just started popping in my mind when I seen this, man. You know, the Lord, hey, hey, these are the chariots of Israel, man. These are the ministers. These are the angels. These are the ministers, man. All right? And they're showing themselves. And this is back in 1996. We're getting video fuzz. Just listen to the conversation. 
Columbia, Houston, we're looking at our uh, Halo Bay camera, and it looks like a lot of moonlight glinting off the ocean, a whole sparkling uh, bed of diamonds out there. Is that a, a real picture, or are we just getting some video photos? Columbia finally responds after a few seconds go by, stating that they are recording them and that they are nothing more than ice crystals that they were dumping out and that it was a beautiful picture. Again, listen. Hey, Houston, we're recording that. Um, that's some of the ice crystals that we were dumping out earlier. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful picture. That's a great combination of the moonlight and the ice and the clouds. Well, thanks for the picture. Now, why would the space shuttle Columbia be dumping ice crystals into space? And if it was something they were going to do, why was Mission Control so surprised at what they received? And if they were just ice crystals, why was Columbia watching them and recording them? Could these things have been something more classified that they were looking at? Something they just couldn't blurt out? Like some kind of intelligently controlled ships? Aliens from another galaxy? Or maybe even our own galaxy? Or is the term UFO more of an accurate description of these things? Just simply unidentifiable? NASA pans the camera up a bit, and you can see more of these objects off in the distance. And some of them now appear to be massive in size, as NASA tries to do a little more explaining. Another strange aspect to this is that some of the objects here seem as if they didn't come from the space shuttle at all. They appear to be far out into space, but that's only speculation of... Let me get this real quick. This is the book of Isaiah 60 and 8. And it says, Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves? To their windows so look you see how these these chariots are flying up there so if we go to google right let's look at flock of doves look 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 how flock of doves hold on let's get a Look, look how these doves are, are, are flying. They're, it don't seem like there's a formation, but there is a formation, man. Look how they flying, man. Look, look at this one. This one is uh, even a better one. See? So the Lord said, who are these flying? Read that again. Now look at this, and then look at the, the cherry. You know, they seem like it's not organized, but it's very organized. It says, who are these who fly like a cloud and like doves to their root, roost? It's like it says, who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? See, it says who? What? Next verse, verse nine. Surely the isle shall wait for thee and the ships of Tarshish to bring thy sons from far their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord power and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. So these chariots, they flock like doves. They fly comparable unto doves. That's all I wanted to uh, bring out about that. Of course. One of the larger objects seems to fall into the middle of the screen and begins to rapidly flash like crazy. Could this be some kind of signal? Yeah, look at a chariot. The chariot goes right in the middle of the camera and starts pulsating, man. Look. Look what a, the chariot comes out of. Size, but Watch. NASA tries to do a little more explaining. It, it comes right in the front of their camera. Why was Columbia our own galaxy? 
Move the camera up a bit, and you can see more of these objects off in the distance. And some of them now appear to be massive in size, as NASA tries to do a little more explaining. Here it is, right here. Another strange aspect to this is that some of the objects here seem as if they didn't come from the space shuttle at all. They appear to be far out into space, but that's only speculation, of course. So you look at it right One there in the, the middle. Larger objects seem to fall into the middle of the screen and begin to rapidly flash like crazy. Could this be some kind of signal? Look at it flashing right there in the middle. Right here. Man. But I'm going to post a link. I'm going to post a link for you, Akim, to check it out. Um, it's a you know, good watch. I, I was uh, definitely uh, hyped up when I seen that, man. Because, look... The Lord is uh, showing himself, man, and those are our vehicles of escape. Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number, man. So, hey, the Lord got plenty. The Lord got plenty of, of chariots to go around, man. Ain't no ain't gonna, ain't gonna need to lack. And we got something that's waiting for us, man. Abarathazah, man. We got chariots that are waiting on us. The, the chariots we had when we were in the spirit world, man. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 22. It says, but ye, it says, but ye are come unto the mount, it says, but ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living power, the heaven, in the heavenly, Jeru the heavenly Jerusalem. See, there's a earthly and there's a heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels. Innumerable. Let's look up what that word innumerable means. Let's see what that word is. The word there for innumerable is Mariah. Moras, Maras, Maras. It says ten thousands, an innumerable multitude, an unlimited number, innumerable host. So unlimited amount of chariots the Lord has. There is no number of chariots. You can't number them. They, to number them, that means there's an end to them. There's not an end. There's more chariots coming as you you you, you try to figure out them. All right. So let's go to the next precept, man. The Lord is powerful, man. Our, our power is, is, is definitely out of this world, man. You can't fathom it, man. This is 2 Kings because prophets are known to have angels around them because it says the, the angels encamp around those that fear the Lord, man. This is an example of that. And it, it, this verse reminded me of the, the video I just got done watching. And to show you, man, that, hey, it's happened before. This is 2 Kings 6 and 16. And he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. So we only need one angel. That's it. But the, Elijah was saying, look, we good. We all right. That's what we're telling. That's what we're trying to tell you, Jake. Don't worry about Esau. There's more with us than there are with them. Trust. The Lord has got, a, 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 Yahweh Shah said, the little father will give him lesions. And the legions sit between six to ten thousand, man. All right. It says in Elijah, it says in the, it says in Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open the eyes of that he may see. So Elijah could see. He could see. imagine he was so in tune with the spirit world. He just had angels constantly around him. He didn't bug out. It says in Elias prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. So the Lord has power to open. He's going to open the eyes of the world to these angels. The angels aren't going to appear. They're already there. When it says they're going to cover the skies, they're just not. They're, they're already covering the skies of Babylon. That's why it says the eyes of the Lord. It says what? The eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom. So the eyes of the Lord are the angels. So they're constantly here, man. But it says he's going to open up the eyes of the world to see them there. And to know that they're there. 
They don't have to come. They're already here. You know? It says, and I, it, um, and he, it says, and the Lord opened the young man, opened the young man, opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elijah. Elijah. Okay, so uh, Elias and Elisha. All right, but then you see here, look, innumerable, man. Just like you've seen here, innumerable, man. Mountains that, that, that covered, and it was around one, um, one man. So how much more us today, man? So our power, hey, hey, we need not fear, man. We need not fear at all. This is the book of Revelations 5 and 11, and I'm going to close out here. This is Revelations 5.11 says, And I beheld and heard a voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders and the number of them were 10,000 times 10,000 and 10,000 of thousands. Came number them, man. So with that, I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekhaq, Adash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekhaq, Adash, we give double honors to the pops of elders and to you men out there on the four corners of the planet Earth. That's hope, the hope of the elect. Keep fighting, pushing, maintaining. We're at the time of the end, man. The Lord is doing great things. Because it, 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 just like I said earlier, if Egypt existed, the chariot that brought the Israelites out of Egypt existed also. You know, so these are the times where we got to look for, for these great happenings to take place. Just like when we were leaving out of Egypt, the Lord started putting more and more heavy things that the Egyptians had to point out that something was going on. So how much more now, the Lord is going to make more and more stuff happen in, in the land, the new Egypt, that's going to make it more and more evident that what? That we are the children of Israel and we're getting ready to be taken out of this wicked hellhole that we've been put in. Shalom, Akim. Shalom.